22 European Union non-governmental organizations had banded together to demand an end to European trade with Israeli Jewish settlements in the West Bank. They claim these settlements are illegal and an obstacle to peace in the Middle East. The NGOs have released a memorandum entitled Trading Away Peace, How Europe Helps Sustain Illegal Israeli Settlements. The memorandum calls on the European Union to stop assistance settlement expansion by providing export markets for products from Jewish settlements. As far as this, uh, this memorandum of the NGOs with regard uh, to uh, the settlements uh, uh, is concerned, I think the NGOs are right. They have reminded us uh, that it is a declared policy of the, the Western world uh, to go along with uh, what has been negotiated in the, in the almost forgotten peace process in the Near East. Well, I think one of the bases of, uh, of international gremiums like uh, UN, EU, and WT, WTO is free flow of trade. And this is against all we achieved during the last decades. There's no reason to claim for boycott, for strike, for not allowance of products. According to European law, products made in Israeli settlements on Palestinian ground are not Israeli products. Therefore, they have to, according to existing European law to be labeled not as Israeli goods but as other goods. The NGOs claim that most EU member states continue to tolerate products from the settlements being sold in stores under the label Made in Israel, leaving consumers unaware of the product's true origins, contrary to the EU's own regulations. It is not about the quality of a product or the origin of a product. It's about discriminate, discriminating an entire country. And of course, the simple, so-called simple consumer is totally unable to, to, to distinguish if a product comes from Ariel or from Ramat Gan. That leads to a overall boycott, or an overall non-consumption of Israel pro Israeli products. And I think this is the idea behind it to create pressure on people who normally wouldn't um, act against Israel, but they are kind of helpless as consumers. Well, the demand for labeling settlement products is quite a realistic demand because according to European consumer rights, uh, the consumer has to be able to know where each and every product in, that is sold in the European Union comes from. Claiming a boycott of products um, and pretending it's about health or origin of product or, I don't know, consistency or so, is only ex an excuse. It's basically abusing um, the consumer security, the consumer awareness for political reasons. The European Union has to understand or has to act according to its own um, idea of what, are, what is international law and what is the solution for, for, for the Middle East conflict before it's too late. I don't think it's, uh, it's uh, the EU uh, position as stated is credible because uh, we have seen in the last uh, vote uh, in the UN General Assembly how divided the EU is. Uh, there is no common EU uh, uh, foreign and security policy any longer. Uh, we have seen that in Libya and other, other, other parts of the world uh, as, uh, as well. With several European Union nations expressing concern over Israel's plan to expand Jewish settlements in the West, Bank, the EU is expected for the first time to call for full application of EU legislation regarding trade with Jewish settlements. This is Wilson Ruiz for Jewish News One in Germany.